Let me tell you a little secret. I genuinely don't think that finding a job in React without any experience is actually all that hard. I think it's only a matter of knowing what to do. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how you can easily find any React entry level job without any experience. So let me start by saying this, and I think this might be a controversial take, but I don't think that there is such a thing as no experience. Sure, you may have never worked in a company before, right? That's fair enough. Or this may very well be your first ever React project. That's also fair. But if you've ever watched a tutorial on React, I would argue that that is experience. If you've ever set up a simple project in React, even if it's just for a simple tutorial, that's also experience. If you're a part of my Discord and all that you do is you don't post anything, you just read stuff about React, I would argue that's also experience. The point is that experience is super, super easy to get and you should never stress about the fact that you don't have any, right? You can easily manufacture your own experience no matter what you've done in React. The thing that is important, however, and the thing that I think you should spend your time on is figuring out how to show that that experience that you have is valuable and using that to convince someone to hire you for a React position. So then the question is, how do you actually do that? How do you convince someone to choose you over somebody else for a React position? Well, the first thing that I would do is I would take everything that you've done in React so far, all of the projects, all of the tutorials, all of the code that you've really ever written, and I would try to figure out a way to package those into individual projects that can be showcased to someone else, right? Like, have you ever built a simple to-do app for a tutorial? That's a project on its own. Have you ever set up like a database or something in a simple UI to fetch some data? That's also a project on its own. Have you ever just written a piece of code just to test something out in React? That's also a project on its own. You should do that for every single piece of code that you've ever written so far, because honestly, you don't have anything else, right? You only have the tutorials and the simple stuff that you've done to learn React to show as your experience. But that doesn't make that experience not valid, right? A lot of developers think that that is not valid. I would argue that it is valid and that it's your best bet to actually getting a job. So spend the time, spend the effort, create the projects and put them up somewhere online for people to see. Because think about what that tells about you as a developer. If somebody is looking to hire somebody and it's come down to either you or someone else and you have a portfolio, you have projects, you have things that show your experience, you've even deployed applications to production, you're much more likely to get picked for the job than somebody who didn't do those things. Because how many junior developers do you think, fresh out of school, fresh out of a bootcamp, have a whole portfolio set up with everything needed to showcase their experience? Not many. And the fact that you do this, and especially if you do it well, if you make it fancy, if you put like animations and just make it beautiful to the eye, you're going to increase your chances so much more to get the job versus somebody that doesn't want to spend all that time, all that effort to do that. And actually, I just touched on a very important point. You should absolutely make your applications as fancy and as beautiful as possible, because like it or not, an application that is fancy, that has animations, that is well designed, is going to leave a much better impression than another application, which may have more functionality, maybe a better product overall, but doesn't look as nice, right? like you want to think about the person that's making the decision to hire you versus somebody else and you want to give them every possible reason that you can for them to choose you versus somebody else that's really really important and the details and how things are presented matter that's why i said that experience in and of itself is not really that important right like you can manufacture this super super easily and instead what's important is how you use that experience to make you look good and make you get chosen for the react position cool so besides experience what else can you do to increase your chances of finding a React job. Well, in that case, I would recommend that you look and try to find some open source projects that you can contribute to. Now, I know how that might feel intimidating, right? Like how can a junior developer with no experience contribute to something as serious as an open source project, right? I totally get it. But I would urge you to get over that because there are definitely a lot of projects that are actually welcoming to junior developers. And the reason you want to contribute to those kinds of projects is because it looks really good on your resume. There's not a lot of developers, even senior developers that have properly contributed to open source software. So if you can get the credits for having actually contributed something useful to a project, that's going to make you look really, really good, especially as a junior. And also something that a lot of people don't really think about open source projects is that if you start contributing to it, you're going to meet people. You're going to network with other developers, with people that are running projects, and you have no idea what kind of opportunities may come out of that, right? Like you could find your next job through an open source project. You can find a 
startup that you can join and make millions of dollars on the exit through an open source project. You can find your best developer friend. You can find any sort of connection. You literally have no idea. And it's only upside if you actually contribute to an open source project. And actually, just an FYI on the topic of open source projects, if you can't find a proper open source project, I got you covered. I'm actually going to be releasing a project on my own that is going to be fully open source and specifically designed for you to be able to contribute no matter your skill level. Cool. So with that, I think that you have everything that you need to actually go out and start applying. You should have a resume, you should have a portfolio, you should have some projects to showcase, and now you're ready to start applying to actual React positions. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video about how to actually look for a job and where to look for one, but it's basically your standard places, right? Like LinkedIn, Indeed, local job boards. You want to talk to people, try to network, try to see if anyone has an opportunity. And essentially, you want to apply to as many entry-level positions as you can to maximally increase your chances of getting a job. Also, don't be afraid to apply to mid-level positions. You would be surprised how many of those positions are actually willing to accept a junior developer, or even if they aren't, they might refer you to some other position internally that may or may not be listed online, and you can find a job that way, right? So you want to apply to as many positions as possible and literally shotgun your way and take anything that you can get. Now, if you're worried about technical interviews and how you would pass those, honestly, I wouldn't interview as much. I would actually try to stay away from any company that tries to do like a really hardcore technical algorithm interview. In my experience, those companies are not the best companies to work at, and you would be much better off to wait and to try to get a company that has a different interviewing method. What I would do is I would spend a little bit more time to try to find a company that's going to interview you in a more react way of doing things, right? Because if you're a junior developer and you're applying for a react position, it doesn't really make sense for them to give you a data driven algorithm interview. It makes much more sense for you to be interviewed on something related to react, right? The thing that you're actually going to work on in your day to day at the job. And usually in my experiences, those companies end up being a better environment just generally to work in, right? Like this might depend on the context and that's just my own personal experience, but I would urge you to use your intuition and try to get a gut feeling as to how this company is going to be, right? I wouldn't rush trying to find a job just because you really want to find your first React job and make that make you a decision that you're going to end up regretting in the future, choosing a bad company. I would instead try to spend a little bit more time, be a little bit more patient to find the right position for you. I think that's really important. And I think that in the long run, you're going to be much happier and a much better developer if you do that. Now, after all of that, you're probably going to have your first ever React job. And that's amazing. You're gonna feel great and that's super great. It's super well-deserved. But you have to keep in mind that that's not the finish line. That's actually the starting line. This is where your career as a React developer officially starts. Everything before that was the tutorial, if you will. Since I make a lot of tutorials, that's what we're calling it. You had the tutorial and now you're ready to actually start your React career. And that's beautiful. You should be very excited. Cool. If you've enjoyed this video, you can subscribe right here. I'm sure this video is also super, super interesting because it's mine, obviously. So I would recommend that you watch it. If you still haven't joined the Discord already, honestly, what are you doing? It's the best resource available. If you're learning React, if you're interested in React, it's the first link in the description. I would highly, highly recommend that you check it out. With that being said, my name has been Darius Cousin. This is Cousin Solutions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao, ciao.